Welcome to Overwatch, the game where if you pick only one character and refuse to switch, we lose the game and I break a lamp. And today, I'm going to teach you how to do just that with... Reaper. Codename, lowercase x, capital X, lowercase x, edgelord69, KMS, lowercase x, capital X, lowercase x. The offensive, shotgun-wielding, spooky man most well-known for offensive actions such as Q for play of the game and the murder of every tank character in the game. But what is Reaper's story? Die, die, die. Well, Reaper's real name is Gabriel Reyes. Reyes served in the US military and then joined Overwatch with a fellow friend, Jack Morrison, aka Soldier76. Leading Overwatch during the Omnic Crisis, Reyes helped Overwatch become the legendary force it was known for. But, when it was all over, his partner Jack was promoted to Strike Commander, becoming the first commanding officer in Overwatch. This got Reyes really angsty and angry, and soon their friendship drifted apart until Reyes led an internal rebellion in Overwatch, causing an explosion in the main HQ, supposedly killing both himself and Morrison. Now Reyes has resurfaced as this powerful and terrifying mercenary under the name Reaper, and the rest of the man known as Gabriel Reyes has been fully extinguished. He is now this husk of a soldier who is assumed to have had genetic modification done to him, making his cells degrade and regenerate at an intense rate. This is what allows him to drift around all smoke-like and siphon the souls of enemies he kills. But what is he like in game? Well, he is one of the tankiest offensive heroes with a wide arsenal of powerful close-range damage dealing weapons and abilities. He has some of the strongest long-term survivability and an excellent ultimate used for clearing out objectives or an enemy point, and he is a great flanker. All this comes together in a well-made package that even the nicest of mothers hope this is just a phase. Now let's talk abilities. Reaper's passive allows him to harvest the souls and maybe a little bit of pocket change off the dead enemies. Each enemy drops a red orb that when you move towards it, it gives you 50 health. This helps keep you topped off when you're skirting around the enemy backline being a spoopy scary tank destroyer. He uses Hellfire shotguns as his primary weapon. These have an ammo capacity of 8 fire at 2 rounds a second and do 7 damage of pellets dropping up to 2 damage of pellets with 20 pellets per shot. This means if every pellet is landed on a close range, you can deal up to 140 damage, not counting headshots, and you wonder why they brought a Reaper during the recall cinematic to deal with Winston. His shift ability, the Wraith Form, allows him to become invulnerable and can move around but cannot use any other abilities during it for 3 seconds. This is the legit spooky Reaper move because you actually turn into a real fucking ghost and just nope the fuck out of there immediately. Shadow Step is his E, allowing you to choose a target location in front of you and after a 2 second cast you teleport there. Beam me up, Reapy. And finally, his ult is Death Blossom. He has a massive seizure, causing his fingers to clamp down the triggers of his shotguns, letting him deal 600 damage over 3 seconds in an area of effect. This ult can of course be interrupted by other forms of CC, and he can be killed during it as well. So how does Reaper play, and when should you play him? Well, Reaper may be laughed at as being the uber edgelord Kylo Ren generic spooky character, but his damage is not something you should scoff at. If the enemy team either has a lot of set-up stationary defenses or is chock full of tanks, Reaper is your ghost for the job. He employs excellent clearing of an enemy backline. Torbjorn got a turret set up, blast that thing down with two shots. Bastion got a set up, get behind him and two shot him too. Winston, Roadhog, Reinhardt, Diva trying to get on your dick? Let them, it'll only make your job easier. Except for Roadhog. Be careful with Roadhog, that hook will fuck you up. It's not just tanks that Reaper can clear out too. He can also ruin Squishy Target's day so long as they're close enough and he's able to stick headshots after headshots on them with that sweet, sweet double damage shotgun blast. And what about that Death Blossom? Its uses are simple. Got a large group of enemies near you? Just smash the Q key and watch all of them melt beneath the hail of depressed emotions and black skinny jeans. How about countering Reaper? Characters that keep him at range can deal with him since even though he's the tankiest offensive hero, he still only has 250 health with shotguns. Lucio and Zenyatta can counter his ultimate by popping theirs as he pops his, and the characters like McCree and Zarya can really fuck over a Reaper thanks to McCree's burst and flashbang as well as Zarya's shields. Reaper can also synergize with friendly teammates like Zarya, Mercy, and Zenyatta. Zarya for a very powerful ultimate, and she can also put her shield on him when Reaper ults. Having a pet Mercy in your back pocket will allow some amazing damage to be dealt, or keep you top off. 
And a Zenyatta Discord Orb on an enemy tank will basically let you two-shot them, given the opportunity. Same thing with his ultimate, allowing you to keep alive during yours. What about all that shit you can get for Reaper? Well, his best blue skin is obviously Mr. Purple, the best purple skin is obviously Mr. White, and the best legendary skins are either Reaper the Raven or Cinco de Reaper. There is only one good emote, and that is his BM Clap, who gives a shit about his ending poses. This is the line you should spam during your game. I'm back in black. The only two sprays you should use is the Resident Evil 4 Reaper spray or Blizzard's attempt to meme spray. And why not use the Death Blossom highlight intro? You might as well spoil what's about to happen. So let's wrap up. Reaper's name was Gabriel Reyes, a jealous ass little punk bitch that almost killed himself because he was so mad. He is a massive litterer. and can turn into a spooky ghost and teleport. He also has an ultimate that guarantees play of the game every single game, and will get his titties twisted by anyone with CC or shield. And there you have it. This was the One Trick Pony Guide to Reaper. My name has been Bricky Orchidae. Twitter, Twitch, stream highlight channels are all in the description. I hope you have a fantastic day, and if you like this video, please tell me, because I want to make this a full-on series, and any legit constructive criticism would be appreciated. Alright, bye bye Die, die, die.